All right, welcome everyone. Uh, this is the Helm Developer Call for Halloween. It's on Tuesday or Thursday, October thirty first. Um, so what we normally do because it's uh, stand up, we go through announcements, then we go through um, core maintainers can give a stand up, then we go through anyone who's a participant in the community can give an update on what they've been working on or what they want to do, um, and then we go through uh, discussions and then finally assignments for the week. So on the meeting notes, uh, I will just quickly post them here on the chat so anyone can follow along. Um, for announcements this week, uh, we have the Helm 3.00 RC1 uh, that was released on Tuesday now. Yeah, it was Tuesday because yesterday we've been um, working on bugs and identifying those things. So uh, we've noticed that there's a couple of things here and there. Um, so we are going to be cutting out a version RC2 uh, sometime either in the next couple of days, but we got a discussion item for that. And then also on the same hand, uh, 252 was released earlier this week, and 216.0 RC2 is or was just released like 30 minutes ago. And Farina, you want to give out a point? Well, I was just also going to point out 215.2 that went out um, actually contains a security vulnerability fix. You can read about it over on the Helm blog. Um, but that's the reason the 215.2 was cut separate from the 216. Um, release candidates. Perfect. Thanks, Marina. All right. Um, that's all for the assignments that are on the notes. Does anyone else have any announcements that they wanted to make? Nope. All right. So we'll go to stand up. Uh, so I'll pass it along to Thomas or Taylor. Sorry for the first one. Man, everyone still falls for that, even when they know me. Um, okay. So um, I've just been working on various and sundry Helm things. I mean, there's nothing like really big to call out. I've just been working on PRs, reviewing PRs, categorizing things, working with Fisher and Farina to cut things, um, <clears throat> dealing with all the Twitter notifications after tweeting about RC1, um, all those things. And so I'm opening up one little uh, document, uh, sorry, um, help string fix um, PR that I cannot open because apparently GitHub has issues, but we can't figure out what's going on. So anyway, we're just waiting for that to get figured out. Then I'll open up a PR for to that should go into the RC2 um, <clears throat> for 3.0. Otherwise, um, I'm just kind of keeping an eye on the queue and stuff. Um, and just, I don't know, just making sure everything goes well for, for Helm 3. That's kind of the focus right now. So that's it for me. I'll pass it off to Josh. Um, so I have been out-ish for a while. Um, I spent a while on the mailing list over the last week or two um, on OCI side, making sure they can like verify what we're doing um, looks good. So uh, made a few changes there, and those are in the RC1. So that's about it for me. Um, Martin. Yo, um, so bit of a kind of a mixed week, uh, public holiday on Monday for, for Halloween. So uh, apart from that, doing bits of this and that, which I can't really remember actually at this stage. Um, so um, did bring the plugin up for uh, the Helm 2 to 3 plugin up for RC1 uh, and also for 215.2. Uh, thanks to um, Matt Fisher for jumping on that as well and doing some uh, some trashing of it yesterday. So that was good. And uh, some nice PRs pushing on that. Um, apart from that, just kind of reviews and bits and pieces. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Not a whole lot, a whole lot this week. So I will hand over to uh, Bridget. Cool. I'm actually going to have to leave probably before this call is over since... As previously stated, I'm going to speak at a meetup that's held at a Microsoft office, which is in literally in an airport, which is weird, but um, possibly convenient for customer visits. I don't know, Belgium. Um, lots and lots of delicious chocolate here. Um, I will bring home some chocolate. Unfortunately, I'm not co-located with all you folks, so you know. Mostly, I've just been focused on the conference stuff that's taking up my time at this moment, but I'm actually interested in talking really quick about this. We're thinking about a GA about two weeks from now. Are we thinking this is going to land before KubeCon? Because that would be awesome. Yes, we have. We're we're, we're targeting before KubeCon for a release. Excellent. 
Okay. Yeah, it, it totally depends on how the RCs go, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, absolutely. I know we can't rush that. Got to let it bake, but um, I love the idea at least. And because yeah. everyone, I've been talking about Helm to people at conferences and probably the meetup tonight. Uh, I'm just kind of curious if we have a tentative GA date we're willing to state, like perhaps before KubeCon. Is that something that we're willing to state or are we like, we're just going to get it out as soon as it's ready? We've informed the CMCF that we plan to go GA at least in like hopefully two weeks time. But really, like Adam said, it really depends on how the state of the release candidate is going. If there is game breaking things, then we'll have to delay the okay. 3.0 release until that's ready. Cool. But I just know people are going to ask me. There's 75 RSVPs to, for this Kubernetes meetup tonight, which means there will be a non-zero number of people asking me that question. So I will answer correctly. Thank you. Uh, handing it off, I, I don't know which direction I'm handing it off to. One of the mats. You choose. I'll go since the other one's the moderator. Uh, okay, so I've been doing things like cutting releases this week. I think I've cut more releases or pre-releases this week than I have with the 2.16 release candidates and 2.15.2. Um, and other than that, it's just been a bit of cleanup here and there around um, just the little nitpicky stuff to try to get Helm 3 out and to get some of these releases out. Um, and that's about it. Uh, so with that, Adam, I'll pass it off to Adam. Uh, yeah, my week's been about the same, just trying to um, tie up loose ends, uh, just uh, helping out where I can with fixes, did a bunch of dependency updates, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, just gonna wait to see how RC goes. Good job, guys. Uh, let's see, Scott. Hey, um, yeah, I missed a few weeks, uh, and then uh, the last two weeks I've been sick, which is awful, but I'm back. Uh, however, um, I think all I really did this past uh, week is um, PR reviews and IRC help. Um, I would love to help out a little bit more. So maybe I'll chat with you all about that um, at, uh, at the next time. Oh, uh, sorry. I came late, so I'm not sure who has not gone. Yeah, I think it's back to you, Fisher. I think it's back to me at this point. Okay. So is anyone else from the core maintainers has not gone? Nope. All right. Uh, so for me this week, it's been kind of more or less what Farina and Taylor have been doing and Adam as well. Um, we've been, or I've been working uh, particularly on the 3.0. Uh, yesterday in particular, I was working on uh, testing the migration path. I kind of only gave like a very elementary kind of pass through with a two to three plugin. I'd love to give it a little bit more of an in-depth, like go into a production usage, test out something that's been used quite commonly and try and do a migration on that. Um, so maybe I'll be doing that a little bit later this week or later next week. Um, but, uh, what I was working on yesterday was kind of looking at anything that was labeled a V3 bug as, and a bug label, um, in the GitHub issue queue and taking a look at those and seeing if those are like regressions from birth for Helm 2, uh, and seeing if we can get a PR in and fix for those. So that's what I've been working on. Um, one of the last things that I've been working on and Adam and I paired on that a little bit later was the um, Helm show values PR, or Helm show values, which was originally it just showed the raw unfiltered values.yaml from the package. And we removed functionality inside of Helm to not store that. And there was a very good reason for not storing it that way. Um, but it's reduced some functionality that people that came to expect. So kind of working through what's the right way that we can make the architecture move forward while also retaining that functionality that people came to expect. So kind of playing with that design with Helm show values, the chart loader and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and I think I'm landing on a, I think I'm landing on the design um, as we're going through. So I'll probably pair with you, Adam, at some point uh, when I get something that seems like a reasonable approach. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. All right, is there anyone from not from the core maintainers list that wants to give a little update before we go into discussion. Nope. All right. 
So on the discussion topics for today, we just have one thing for the moment, um, and that's from me. Uh, do we think we have, so I wanted to ask if we had a good handle um, on release candidate number two for uh, 3.0, given the pull requests and everything else. I think we're now at at least five or six pull requests that have been merged and that need to cherry pick into the release branch. Um, I'm wondering if there's anything that anyone knows down the road that we need to fix before we release an RC2, or if everything that's in an issue or that's in a PR has been tagged for the milestone and we're ready to go for an RC once those are all merged in. Oh yeah, the CA file flag, yeah. Sorry, go ahead, one, Adam. One idea would be to like time box the RCs. So say RC1 is gonna live for this many days, um, at the end of this many days, if there's no bugs, then we cut 3.0. If there is bugs, then we cut the next RC. Um, so that way it's not like, oh, we got this new bug, we fixed it, should we cut another RC or should we cut a release? Um, instead, it's a definitive way that we can tell people that there's an exact process. Once there are no more bugs, then we cut an RC? Yeah, once once we go through one time box that has no bugs, that's when we cut. Yeah, so the only thing that I'd be just a little bit concerned about that thing is making sure that we don't cut 3.0 before um, like the press and everything else has been notified and they're able to come up with like the blog post. Because I know, so Matt yeah. Farina has been giving CNCF updates on how we want to land that announcement. So does that play into effect on how we should affect the 3.0 release? Uh, might I suggest we time box on the release candidates, but when it comes to the actual final release, we line everything up. Does that work? Yeah, I think so. Because that saves us from, well, this bug went in, should we cut another one? It's a small bug. Should we get another RC right now? Instead, it gives us um, a definitive way of handling that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a fantastic way to go about it. So maybe, what does everyone think about like a Tuesday and Thursday time box? So that gives us, or Tuesday and Friday? Because that gives us Monday of a business day and then Tuesday kind of like to work through those and have an RC and then you have Wednesday, Thursday or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, so that gives you a two day or a three day time box window. And that gives us a time to kind of rapidly go through those RCs. Yeah, I, I don't want to say weekly. Weekly. Okay. So that basically would mean, uh, based on Farina's face, I don't think he agrees. I, I don't know that I agree because if we do weekly and we have four RCs, we're out a month. We really yeah. don't want to move that slow. We would rather give folks some time to soak on it. I would I would suggest maybe we do it based on number of work days or something like that. Like uh, we cut an RC and then confidence. we give it three work days. Give us more confidence, man. What? Well, I, Why do you I think we're gonna have so many bugs. I it's too, uh, too a fair point though with Farina's thing is that if in two weeks time, which assuming that since we did the RC1 on a Monday, I think it was Monday that we did RC1. So it'd be technically this next Monday would be RC2. And then RC3 would technically be the final release candidate we have. If we miss, if certain bugs or something like that missed between RC3 and that time box, then we kind of have to cut that thing to get to 3.00. Okay, uh, I don't need this much convincing. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just think it might be better if we have just a slightly shorter ca release cadence just to make sure that we have those things in. Um, and I, RCs I'm are I'm really on the train. easy don't worry. to cut. I, I'm, I got on the train Okay. Like four stops ago. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so that was good. Uh, Karupia for the CA flag file not being passed. Uh, so that one is in the 3.0 milestone. So we'll have to take a look at that one. I was going to take a look at that actually today. Um, I just had some SSH issues earlier uh, since I'm in a Tim Hortons. Uh, but yeah, I'll be or trying to take a look at that one in particular later on today. So 
Uh, there's that, and then also the other PR that Adam and I have been carrying on and working together with the loader. Um, so I think that's good for the discussion there. And that's it for discussion items. Is there anything else that anyone wanted to discuss today or so then, 10 minutes early for death calls first in a long time. Well, all the crazy technical stuff was for what we have to do for 3.0, right? Yeah. And since we're like on the cusp, it's now just hunker down and fix those issues. And if you got three or four people trying to fix a handful of issues, you can actually fix them pretty quick. You've got people to review and are jumping all over this. It's... Excellent. Yeah. All righty then. Um, so we'll jump into assignments then for this week. So who would like to take moderator for next week? Three of us just go speak simultaneously. Is there a rock, paper, scissors involved here? Or I pick me by fiat. Done. You picked you? Right. <laughs> okay. I see the I, arguing to fight you for this. It's like a cage match. Um, and who wants to take notes for next week? Bridget already put her name down, it looks like, before she left. Oh, thanks, Bridget. All righty, then. Well, that concludes this week's meeting. Thank you, everyone. Hi, everybody. Happy Halloween. See you next Hello. week, and happy Halloween. Hello.